Hey guys, it's Red and Purple Ties here. Um, I'm doing my unboxing for my nerve block comic block for this month. It is the very first comic block to ever be issued. Um, I subscribed to it, I think it was in mid April when they opened the subscriptions. Uh, I was just curious to see what, um, what nerve block. La la. <laughs> what nerd block had um in store for the comic block idea um i thought it was interesting and usually i when i do like subscription boxes i usually do it for the um comic book related things or the tv show related things so i thought this was going to be an interesting block to subscribe to um and it's kind of convenient too that the block came today because one the Captain America um, Civil War teaser uh, ended up leaking online. Uh, it's on Tumblr. That's what I saw it. I mean, I don't know if it's on YouTube, but I did see it on Tumblr. Uh, I think it's going around Twitter too. I mean, I know last week um, the Crossbones fight leaked online and um, a lot of people were posting a lot of Instagram footage from it. Uh, and I mean I saw the teaser I'm so psyched for Civil War in general so I can't wait till the movie comes out I mean uh, it's even funny too because I completely like out of random decided to wear my Captain America shirt today and the teaser leaked online um, they showed it they showed actually the teaser at the New York Comic Con special event I think it was either yesterday or today um they actually showed the footage so if you guys find it and you see it hopefully you're just as hyped as i am um okay so now let's go on to the comic block unboxing uh sadly enough i do not have a box for my comic block this month uh, for this month i can't really physically open a box and show you everything but i got everything intact um the thing was they put a hole through my box when in the mail and my box was completely torn to shreds um, my mailman was nice enough to uh, put all my things together and still leave it in my mailbox so I'm gonna pull um, the card aside uh, because the nerd blocks do come with a card that tells you exactly what is in your box on both sides um, so we're gonna start off with the first thing that the card makes a big deal about it is the variant for Marvel Secret Wars this is the variant cover for issue number one with Captain America aka Falcon and of course Deadpool in the back whispering tell you a secret we're at war um, it's kind of cool. I I mean I do have um, Secret Wars one and two, which I still have yet to read because I was supposed to pick up Secret Wars three today, and um, with my luck, there was no copies left. <laughs> um, but I definitely will keep this bag and sealed. Um, I'm gonna look forward to reading Secret Wars. I want to actually get all eight issues together and read them all in one shot. I mean, I'm reading a lot of comic books right now, and I'm still behind, I mean, with me reading Doctor Who, Spider-Man, Silk, Spider-Woman, I mean, it, it, it's easy to get lost in. Um, well, their block, oh well, the comic block gives it the description, time runs out, everything ends, and the secret wars have commenced. This first issue of Marvel's giant event from Jonathan Hickman and S. Bag Ribic is already a collector's item but what you have is even better it's a rare comic block exclusive variant edition and again on the cover it's captain america falcon and uh it's also deadpool which also if you guys should uh, if you guys haven't checked out yet deadpool does have a his own secret wars comic book called um deadpool secret secret wars and it's basically Deadpool making commentary on the original Secret Wars 
and I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's only running for 10 issues. Um, I will heard about it on the This Is Marvel podcast. So, I mean, just an idea out there. Uh, okay, so back to the nerd block. Um, so the next thing on the block it is a DC comic. It is the Convergence um, Action Comics number one. And you see Lex, Wonder Woman, uh, Red Sun, Superman, Superman, Power Girl, and I believe that is Lois Lane. I mean, it's a pretty cool comic cover. I mean, it's very interesting. The artwork is very well done. Um, this is actually number one of two for the Action Comics edition of Convergence. Um, the description is basically this is the first issue the first this first issue is sure to be a hit with fans from the dc universe because it stars heroes from crisis on infinite earths superman teams up with power girl but can they stop a nuclear strike by lex luther and stalin of red sun uh, of and stalin of red sun moscow uh i mean i when I heard Convergence was about to start, I'm not a big um, DC person, um, but even though I do read Superman and Wonder Woman, which is random. Um, I mean, when I heard Convergence was about to start, I really wasn't uh, too keen on the idea. Um, I mean, this Action Comics um, Convergence number one uh, might make me pick up number two just to finish reading. Just read on um, what's going on i mean the concept's pretty cool because it's superman teaming up with power girl so uh, i'll read it and i'll see if i want to pick up number two <laughs> uh okay so now on to the next thing uh in this case the last comic that comes with this block is uh mythics uh image comics mythic number one variant um i think the artwork is amazing on this cover one it is a very awesome looking cover right off the bat uh, so uh this is the number one issue for mythic a lot of people have been talking about this comic i personally haven't heard um a lot of people well a lot of people from my group of friends talk about this um, but I'm definitely gonna read this and since this is the number one issue and see if I might be interested in it um, just because of the fact I'm gonna read the description and we'll see why uh, not only is this a much coveted number one issue from Mitch Comics it is also a comic block exclusive variant in mythic science is a lie an opiate for the masses the truth is magic makes the world go round and when magic breaks mythic fixes it uh i mean that's a pretty cool you know description and it doesn't give too much away and doesn't give too much of the plot um but i am definitely going to consider uh, i'm definitely going to read this comic um i'm going to assume it's for uh, mature audiences just because of the fact the way that if you can't really see the cover and I apologize for the camera um, it's basically a guy with no head and fire coming out of like where his neck sh and where his head should be from his neck and then there's a um, there's a thing well no this is the guy the headless guy with the fire shooting out and then right here is another guy actually having that thing crawl out of his mouth and i think that is the thing's head right over here pretty cool um i'm gonna assume it's mature because of the way the cover is and the amount of blood on the cover <laughs> so i'm gonna try and read this now onto the collectible stuff so for the very first um, comic block they decided to give away this Batman art um, art print which I think is pretty cool uh, 
you can't really tell specifically what Batman this is, but again, it's like who cares? It's Batman. <laughs> uh, it's pretty badass. It's basically him on top of, I believe, a gargoyle, and the Gotham skyline is like right behind him. Again, it's pretty cool. And I'll read the description, which is. Generations of comic fans have grown up with the Dark Knight, so we just had to include him in the first ever comic block. This exclusive print is suitable for the company. So, again, it's an exclusive item for the comic block this month, and I mean, it's Batman, so you can't really go wrong with it. And the last thing is the t shirt that comes with this comic block. I thought this was very suitable for the first comic block to come out. Um, it's basically, I'm going to read you the description and then I'm going to show you the shirt. So it says, worst shirt ever. You didn't have to go into a comic book shop to pick this comic block, but comic book store employees need love too. Next time you visit your local comic shop, be sure to spread this exclusive shirt punch t-shirt only, only for comic block subscribers. Love this shirt? Check out shirtpunch.com for more pop culture goodiness. So, um, basically, the comic block came with this t shirt. Uh, it's the comic book guy from The Simpsons. I thought it was pretty cool, pretty rad for the first comic block. Um, it's a limited edition shirt, automatically, they tell you right on the tag. Uh, I mean, seriously, uh, I love the color. I, I love the the pop art-esque of this shirt in general. I mean, it's very wearable. Uh, it does fit <laughs> my size. Uh, that's another thing with um, subscription boxes. Usually when you go ahead and you put um, what size shirt you are, the shirt really doesn't, and you put your size and the shirt comes in and it doesn't really fit the right way depending on the material um this shirt from from shirt punch yeah i had to look at it again even though i said it multiple times on the card um this shirt from shirt punch is very well made uh it definitely fits really nicely um the suggested retail price for the shirt alone is 20 dollars so you definitely got all your money's worth um from the nerd block this time around with just the shirt alone um because i mean uh, the the comic book it, the secret wars comic book is five bucks for a variant uh action comics number one in general i think is um 3.99 and then this would i believe be a 4.99 comic book um so i mean you definitely got your money's worth with the nerd block and eh, with the comic block this month um the comic block is only 13.99 to subscribe so you can only imagine you got five ten fourteen 34 and I would say the art print is $10 so you got $40 worth of stuff with your only $13.99 this uh, your $13.99 subscription so definitely worth it a plus on uh, their job for the first comic block ever um, also another thing that comes with the comic block is an entry um, for uh, the Joker statue the Square Enix Joker statue um, I mean you just basically answer the question snapchat uh i think you answer the question instagram it and you use the hashtag that they give you and you can enter to win the joker statue um well besides that guys i am audi um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope i can do more videos for more unboxings for you guys so that you can see Alrighty then guys have a good one